Yo, what up, Kings Awesome here, and today's Ground War Domination gameplay is on the Matt Resistance, and I am running with the P90. Yes, the P90. The, um, I guess, uh, most overrated gun by the YouTube commentator community, and yeah, what can I say? Um, I just thought that I should give it a try since it's so overhyped, and I guess it did me okay in this gameplay. Um, my setup today, really the P90 and the MP9 handgun. Or mini handgun. Um, uh, I, I didn't set any kill streaks, so I um, I did specialist instead. I decided to try it out, and it did me very very good. And most of you guys know that I'm the type of person who likes to rush in game. And I guess the biggest reason why I decided to go with specialist is because all the first level perks have all the original perks that I normally use in Black Ops, which is slider hand pro uh, marathon pro and um, scavenger pro they're all in the first level perks and i can't use them all if or i can't use yeah i can't use all three of them if they're all in one or the first level perk but i'm not gonna sit here and complain so i did what i do best and i improvised by picking specialist so my specialist setup is hardline uh quick draw and then extreme conditioning uh Hardline, yeah, it is just regular hardline where all kill streaks are one less. Quick draw is basically um, slide of hand pro where you aim down sight faster, and it is another part like scout pro where you switch weapons a lot faster, or you draw weapons by switching weapons you draw the weapon a lot faster, and that's not bad. It's pretty good for quick draw. And then extreme conditioning is AKA Marathon or Marathon Pro. Um, there is also a seventh one um, or fourth. I'm saying seven because I'm including the original three plus the specialist three. And then there's a seventh one where um, I forgot the name. I, um, you'll see it in the gameplay, but um, it pretty much just uh, turns all your kill streaks or all your perks into pro perks instead of just regular perks. Ooh, ooh, check this part out. One, two. You know what? All those tips that I've been giving you guys, I was like, I always shoot the guy that's, you know, in the back. But I just, man, I just did the complete opposite. But hey, it still worked. But hey, I mean, if it works, then it works, right? I guess I was lucky. Those two guys weren't paying attention. Or maybe they're just not used to the game yet. And look at this. I would have had those three guys. If it wasn't for that airstrike, God, I hate that. Um, oh, uh, I guess a really big tip for you guys is when or when playing this game, don't like, don't huddle up in groups in open areas, because, you know, when they when they drop a bomb on you, man, it's gonna give them like such a big kill streak stack that it's not even funny, and that's why I did a lot in this gameplay here. If you if you did pay attention to my my, my gameplays or, or this gameplay because um, there are a lot of times when a lot of my teammates are together I choose to run away from them in any case that you know they do drop something on us I'm not part of that you know part of that addition to the enemy's you know kill streak so um, keep that in mind and when you're playing don't don't huddle up in groups because it's a bad idea um, it's just going to help feed your enemy. So, yeah. Anyways, if you look at all my kill streaks put together, all six of them, right? You will, or you sh you do realize that, you know, these kill streaks are not made for people who sit and self-touch like this dude right here who's sitting at that tree, you know, touching himself there. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a kill streak that is set for rushing. It's set for, you know, Killing, you know, getting more kills. The more kills you get, the better you're going to become. All the girls are going to realize how big your dick is with this setup. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm just lowballing. And this setup is stupid. Stupid like bacon, you know what I'm saying? It's so, like, fucking stupid that it's fucking good. I don't know why you guys shouldn't use this. Specialist is the shit. I mean, it gives me a, you know, a fucking boner by using this shit. Dudes. Enough said. Let's explain why this shit is so good and why you guys should use it. Alright. So first of all, Slaughter Hand Pro. 
obviously swaps weapon faster. Assassin Pro, you are immune to, you know, counter UAVs and EMPs. No red crosshair or name when targeted, which means when your opponent like ADS at you, they ain't gonna see your name. And um, yeah, um, you're you're basically or Assassin Pro is basically um, Ghost Pro. You know, you're hiding under the radar. There is no such thing as a blackbird, so they ain't gonna see you no matter what. And then the um, Stalker Pro. Whoa, whoa, hold on. One, two, three, four, four. Fucking teammate, who's the boss, man? Get, get him the fuck out of here. Anyways, Stalker Pro, it delays detection trigger explosives. So if they have like a claymore, you can run to it, run past it, and then it'll blow up after you run past it. So you're like pretty much set to go. So this first three setup is like, you know, hardcore. I want to shoot somebody setup where, you know, you can run. Well, I mean, you don't get the marathon run, but you can run, you can, you know, go anywhere. People are not going to see you, you know, claymores and stuff are not going to hit you. Look at this dude. I got him fooled. He thought I ran upstairs. But not just that, with the Stalker Pro, while holding ADS, you can actually run or walk faster while with ADS. So it's kind of like you're jogging with ADS down behind your enemy. So it's also a good thing because most of the time when your ADS is down, you're... Your character's walking slow, and the movements are slow too. So with Stalker Pro, this really just solves the problem for you. And notice how I ran backwards, or ran back this way? Because three of my guys are over at the beef like, I'm not going to be the fourth guy. What if they drop something on us? It's going to, you know, stack up on their kill streaks, which is not good for our team. All right, I'm going to rant on for a, a few seconds here. This is one reason why I don't really like Modern Warfare 3. Um, a lot of people are camping. Um, all the maps, it's like it's made for people to camp on because there's so many like corners that people can camp on. It's just so annoying. Ah, pulling my hair out, but I don't have any hair. Or I do have hair, but my hair is not long. Man, I don't want to pull the woman's hair. Jeez. Anyways, back on track here. Now with the specialist um, perks. Now how, how specialists work is like uh, regular kill streaks where... You get two kills, you you know get one um, one kill streak. Get four kills, you get another kill streak, and then get six kills, you get another kill streak. So it's just like that. When you get two kills, you unlock one perk. Two more kills, you unlock the next perk, and so on. And that's how specialists work. So um, with my specialist perks that I've set up is hardline to be the first two kills, quick draw is the fourth, and then extreme conditioning, which is marathon pro, to be the sixth. Um, a lot of people or a lot of you guys might be wondering why not make hardline one of my main perks well the reason why i chose assassin pro instead is because ap is pretty much ghost pro and it, as you guys might remember ghost pro always gives you a better advantage when playing in the game also um it is very very crucial that if you were or if your character were to die and respawn you don't want to be seen in um, your enemy's uav um, being seen in your enemy's UAV is a very bad thing to start out with because they know where you are, they know where you're going, and chances are you're going to get shot at. So with um, with Assassin Pro, you have the benefit of them not knowing where you are. So so that's why you want to start it with Assassin Pro instead of Hardline Pro. So Hardline Pro being the two kill streaks is very, very vital, very, very good. Um, once you unlock Hardline Pro, you only need one more kill to get Quick Draw, which is very good. So, unlock Hardline Pro, you know, kill another enemy, boom, you get Quick Draw right away. After Quick Draw, just two more kills, boom, Extreme Conditioning, and you are pretty much a Honey Badger Terminator with fucking red eyes shooting everybody, running wild and shit. And wh what I notice about Specialists is when you're getting kills... You know, when you're getting or when you're generating more kills and more kills, it's really like, you know, when you're on drugs, it's like you want more. You want to, you know, you want more kills. You want more. You, it's like more. Give me more. It's so like addicting. You know, it's like Joe Rogan talking about the UFC. You know, it's in your blood. You can't get. You can't stop using it. It's in your blood. That's what Joe Rogan said about the UFC. 
Ah, fun times. But anyways, what's also good about Specialist is it really helps you rank up, level up fast, like really fast. And because you're using six perks versus your enemy using only three perks, chances are you have the benefit of winning the gunfight with your enemy. Now before I end this video, I want to talk about the P90. I mean, the P90 is a good gun. Um, it's To me, in my opinion, it's not the best gun. Uh, to me, the best gun is the PP90. That little handgun or that little uh, submachine gun is actually very, very beasty. Um, it really reminds me of the MPL, which I love the MPL from Black Ops. And that's kind of what it is. Well, not really just the MPL, but it's kind of like the MPL with like um, the Scorpion put together. Or the, uh, yeah, the Scorpion put together. And it's just so fast and so accurate. Um, yeah, I don't know. Somehow it, it really gives me a boner when I use that gun with the silencer and the rapid fire. So, yeah, I mean, in my opinion, that's my favorite gun by far. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. No kill streaks at all whatsoever. 49 and 10. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, please thumbs up the video. And please excuse my voice because I'm sick. And only I would, you know, still do a commentary while being sick. So, uh, please thumbs up the video and add to favorites if you liked it.